E3 coverage brought to you by SwiftBidder.com. Everyone, uh, I'm joined with Ken Ballow of Sega Digital, and we're talking Sonic, but not any Sonic. We're talking about Sonic 4. Oh, yeah. A lot of excitement about this game. Absolutely. There's a ton of excitement about this game, and we are just as excited to be giving it to the fans. They've finally been waiting for this 16 years in the making. It's coming out this year. Now, this is considered a true sequel. It is a true sequel in every sense of the word. Uh, we want you guys to look at it as Sonic 1, 2, 3, Sonic and Knuckles, bam, Sonic 4, Episode 1. It is continuing that Genesis line. Think of it as Genesis games made today. But it looks a little bit better than Genesis days. It does look a little bit better. You know, I mean, we're fortunate enough to be able to offer Sonic 4 in full HD quality. Um, we're bringing back that the classic 2D gameplay style, momentum-based, it's going to be platforming, and it's going to be fast. Now, I just had a chance to play it, and it feels very familiar. It definitely should feel very familiar. I mean, we want everybody to sit down and play it and really be reminded of a younger time, you know, when they used to sit in their parents' living room, plug in those carts to the Mega Drive and the Genesis, and play. And that's what we want to have the big takeaway from Sonic 4. Of course, there's going to be some few new, fe uh, a few new features to kind of bring it, you know, forward. It, it is in a different era. Of course, of course. You know, so we're incorporating for the first time uh, the homing attack in a proper manner in the Genesis line. Um, so that's going to add a little bit of a different tempo to the gameplay. Now, there was a lot of controversy of whether we should have it or not, because it is a, a move that was associated primarily with the 3D Sonics. Once people started playing it though, we found, especially here at E3, that once they got used to that tempo, they just couldn't get enough of it. I mean, it started becoming second nature to the players, just like when Sonic had the spin dash for the first time. You went back and played Sonic 1 and it felt almost naked not to have it. The homing attack will do that for Sonic 4. Now we've got to talk about characters because some people sure, sure. maybe didn't care for the characters in some of the later games. Who is in this game? Sonic, just Sonic for episode one. We want you to go back and reimagine and remember what you loved about Sonic the Hedgehog. And to do that, we're going to have to focus on the big blue guy. Now, this is episode one, so clearly that means there are going to be more titles or more sequels coming up. That is correct. Sonic 4 is a huge saga, but in order to sort of offer it to the consumers in an intelligent manner, we decided to split it up into different episodes. Now, there is a finite number of episodes, so this isn't something that we're going to see Sonic 4 episode 9 or something. Thing. There's a very finite amount of episodes. Um, they are very good as far as length is concerned. The first episode is going to have uh, roughly 24 levels, um, so it is a pretty good chunk of gameplay. By the time Sonic 4 is complete, it will be the largest Genesis-style game Sega has ever released as far as uh, Sonic. And then uh, we're going to come up with the next ones, again, in an appropriate amount of time. We definitely don't want you waiting like three years for episode two. Now, sort of to back that promise, if you collect all seven of the Chaos Emeralds, you will get a true ending to Sonic Episode 1 that will be the cliffhanger leading you into number two. So I'm sure a lot of people are excited about Sonic 4 coming out. When's it going to hit consoles? We're going to be hitting consoles in February 2010. It'll be for Xbox 360. You're going to have it on PSN, WiiWare, and we just announced on the iPhone. Is it February 2010? Uh, fall of 2010. Fall of 2010. So fall of 2010, Sonic 4 coming to a console near you. There we go. Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys.